The reaction between magnesium and nitrogen. Attention, magnesium nitride can cause irritation of the eyes, skin and respiratory tract. Ammonia is toxic when inhaled, can cause chemical burns and is very toxic to aquatic life. Hydrogen chloride can cause irritation of the respiratory tract and chemical burns. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. Magnesium is known for burning with a bright and hot flame. The temperature can reach up to 3000 degrees C. This is why it can be extinguished easily or at all with water. It is even able to react with carbon dioxide, which is shown here in the form of dry ice. What's left in the end is carbon and magnesium oxide. For the experiment, powdered magnesium is ignited and reacts as predicted with the oxygen from the air. The air consists of about 21% oxygen, but the majority consists of nitrogen, which makes up to 78% of the air. 1% are other gases. The surface of the residue is mainly magnesium oxide, but the inside consists of a greenish-yellow compound. This is magnesium nitride, which has formed due to the high heat of the first reaction after the oxygen was used up. Next, some of the magnesium nitride was placed on a watch glass and mixed with some water. A second watch glass was prepared with wet pH paper, like when testing for ammonium ions, and placed on the top. A reaction takes place, causing the pH paper to turn blue, indicating a basic pH value. The magnesium nitride reacts with water to form magnesium hydroxide and ammonia. The hydrolysis of nitrites was used in the Serpec process in the beginning of the 20th century, but instead of the magnesium, aluminium nitrite was used. A few years after that, the Haber-Bosch process was invented. A different way of showing the formation of ammonia is holding a glass rod above the wet nitrite, which has been previously immersed in concentrated hydrochloric acid. In this case, hydrogen chloride and ammonia react to form a white fog of ammonium chloride. This was the reaction between magnesium and nitrogen. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment. If you want to know more about testing for ammonium ions, you can watch my video about it here. Or you can watch my latest video here.